Good morning, everybody. It's Erin Reed. Welcome to Erin Reed Makes, and welcome to our Card Making Wednesday. Today is a little bit different. I'm sorry I'm not live. It's kind of a rough day for my family. Um, this is the day that my daughter passed away, so I really couldn't go live on that day, which is today that you're watching it. Uh, we are out celebrating basically being a family, so we take a day off, and we just go do our thing, and we live in happiness for the day versus dwelling on everything negative. And that's basically where these cards are going. It's going to bring a rainbow out of the rain, um, waving by to say hello. These are all kits I actually got from Lawn Fawn when I was at Creativation, and I am morphing them. The original kit, and this is a really, really cool card that's got this cool slider thing, is on a four by four card. Actually, they both, well, they were both. First one was this little bitty thing, this little tiny card, and I'm turning them both into a two sides card. The other one was a little four by four card that I'm modifying. So what is the point behind this? Well, basically, after every storm, there's a rainbow. And that's how I get through my situation. And I, I, I have my moments, I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> and while I'm chatting, I am going to score everything. So I have my scoring thing. These were all done for me. This is not anything that I stamped or colored. It actually was a whole little kit. I didn't do any of the cutting out or anything except for some of the bigger cuts. This was all colored in, they did the die cut for me. And this is a new Lawn Fawn die that just released. I mean, just, just, just released. And I got a early release of it while I was at Creativation and I'm able to bring it home to you guys so you guys can see how you can turn this card into a fun A2 size card. But I just, I love the theme for today. So all I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm scoring this. And so I don't know how you guys handle situations. I mean, I have my moments where I, I will not get out of bed. I'm not gonna deny that, that, that happens. Um, but you know, definitely art therapy is part of it. And I, I have to truly say thank you for a lot of the comments that you guys have left me previously because that is huge on um, other projects that I have done. So, okay, I, I can't talk about it too much without getting super emotional. So we're gonna get back to just creating art and creating cards. So in the tutorial that you guys saw or that I saw, what they're doing is they're taking these little sections here and then we are going to add some adhesive. So this little flap gets folded down. So I'm just gonna add the adhesive. I am just pulling off what's on the back here. This is actually just the back side of an old planner that I had, one of those giant day planners. The cool thing is, actually, I'm going to use, I don't want to get this all gross, so I'm just going to put a little piece of paper. The cool thing about the Xyron tape runner is that it only is going to stick where it is. It's not going to leave long stringies. So it's only going to have adhesive right where you lay it. So there's actually a line of adhesive on here. It's kind of cool. I'm going to place this little piece and this piece and this piece, like this whole shape right here and this whole shape right here are part of the die set, which all the links will be down below for you guys to see that stuff. So that way you guys can get your own because they're pretty cool. All they did was they added, so just to kind of show you what they did, they stamped the image and colored it in. So as you can see here, it's stamped in a giant square of gray. And then we have the little clouds on there. I think they pre-cut or pre-printed all of these because they had a ton of kits. So I can't imagine somebody coming in and actually stamping all this, but I could be wrong. Maybe they did. Maybe this is hand colored. That's a lot of work if they did that. Uh, and then you have stamped this, colored it in. Um, here you can see the little coloring in on this. And so that's where these two pieces come together. So really, truly any fun stamp you could do this with. So you place this little tabby piece right behind here, and then you just pop. So this little piece right here, pops in behind here. Basically, you're just kind of doing a little fold here. And there's four little sections. You paste each one of these right behind. Look how simple. And then right behind there. Ta-da. And then, look, this is the cool part. So I gotta get this just centered just right. And then look at that. See, so you have a sunshine on a cloudy day. Pretty cool. So you can't, it's gotta get all kind of glued in. So what we are going to do now is we're going to add, can't get any of this to be sticky. So, but we're going to put a little bit of adhesive right on the edge. So I'm going to come in again and add my adhesive right here. And the reason for that little folded flap section is to give it a little bit of room, a little bit of wiggle room. So that way you do not have to worry about um, this getting squished with the two pieces of paper. I'm holding my tape runner 
my little tick upside down. That's what that little knob is on the top. And I always forget about that. All right, so that goes there. This piece just folds over. And so the only sections that are, gl are glued down are right here on the side. And then look, ta-da, isn't that cool? I love that. All right, they also cut, look at this. I mean, they really did think ahead on all these things, all these little pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my three inch sticker maker. I'm running two cards at the same time. So while I have this out and while I have, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is just a little, uh, like a little flappy thing. So the top tab. I'm going to go ahead and run all my little bits and pieces. And I think that's all I have for this card. But on this particular card, I have the bunny, both bunnies. I have my little banner. I have all these little flowers here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they did. And this was one of the card kits. Actually, the day that I went and videoed in the booth, uh, they were doing a card each day and they had everything pre-colored. So you didn't have to spend a ton of time. You just stamped. You were using their papers. You're using pre pre-done stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh no. Oh, I think I'm at the end. Whoops. There it is. See, I'm at the end. <laughs> That's how you know you're at the end of your tape runner is that it actually pulls out. You can see a little bit of the cardboard. So let me grab another one real fast and head that this little guy is recyclable. So don't just throw them in the trash, throw it in a recyclable section. It actually says non-refillable recyclable. So do that. So this little bunny right here probably did not get enough adhesive on. Oh, it did. It actually has, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and run through these little guys right here. I am going to place my little pull tabs. So there is a rounded end and there is a square end. And the rounded, it really doesn't matter too much because we're going to be placing that little flap over top. But I want it to kind of nestle just inside. So that way it, it doesn't look like it's empty. And then I'm going to place my little pull tab on top of that. And I want to see that little bit of the color in there. So that way that little arrow is telling me, oh yeah, I can pull up. And so now you have this really cute thing. Now you're going, well, I can see the edges. Well, that's why you put the cover on there. So move this back off to the side, add my tape runner, add my adhesive really easy. And then pop this on there. So this is such a cute little card. And originally, just so you guys can see, they had it as a tiny little note card. Oops, there we go, just a little note card. And so you can have it be down. If you want to seal this, I actually think I'm going to. I'm gonna put a little bit of something so that way my card does not go too far down. Little adhesive right there. I don't know if they do that, but I like that idea. So that way I don't push too far. So go, there's a limit to how far you can push. So there it is. All right, so I'm gonna have this down. And then they had the card like this, super cute card, love it, adorable. But I like my cards to be A2 sized. Oh, they also had, sorry, they had this on there. So they had, didn't have it white. It wasn't white on white, they had it on the yellow, which I really did like that. I like that little pop of yellow. So I maintain that yellow, but I just added extra mats. So that's all I'm gonna do. I take, took one of the pink sheets from here. I'm gonna add that to the back of this because I just love that color. Keeping everything nice and clean and fresh, but keeping an A2 size of a card. Just having a nice pretty white mat. Clean and simple cards, letting the stamps and the fun technique kind of shine through on the card. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece down. Ooh, now I gotta decide. Do I want the faded yellow? Nah, I like the bright yellow, the way they had it. So all of these are from their paper pack that they have. And did I put these on? Nope, let's see, look, I am talking too much and not paying attention. So yeah, I will rip my cards apart. I even put this one on funny. So in a card like this, making your layers perfect, to me, makes a difference. Because if you just put it on a tiny bit wrong, it's not gonna look as good. Nope, still put that on wrong. So let me fiddle with this for a second and we'll be right back when I get these on straight. <laughs> All right, so now I officially have it on straight. So as I was saying, I think cards that are clean, simple, that don't have a lot of grunge to them, if you don't make them look perfectly centered and just aligned, it kind of defeats the purpose of the card a little bit. So sometimes I kind of steer away from those cards because I'm not as perfectly aligned as I am with others, that was from me ripping up the edge. So I'm just cleaning that up. Now you could totally add this on right here and just leave it 
you know, centered. And you know, look, it still pulls up. Look at the design. This is actually the same paper, but this is the six by six version, and this is from the 12 by 12. So correlates with that paper. That's the tab they gave me. I just happen to have the six by six. So it's the same process. So I love when it's flat, but when they did it and they were demonstrating it, they popped it up. So I kind of like that concept. So what I have is I took actually this little piece. This is like a cardboard. It actually came as a backing on an old kid. It was like a really cheapy puzzle that didn't really have a backing. So I'm just cutting a section that will fit behind here. I'm a little bit off. I was so close, so, so close. And I'm going to run this entire thing through my sticker maker. And so now I've got a homemade pop that's just nice and easy to pop up. All right, so I'm going to make my own pop dot and make sure I grab the one that is full and not the empty one. Like I just edited it out. Now, because I want this to be a pop dot, I need this to be two-sided. So I've got to run this back through the other direction. So I want both sides to have, get started here, to have sticky. And because I don't want it to catch... I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the tape on either side so that way it will not catch on my card. So now we have a two-sided section. Go ahead and pop this on the back here. So truly anything that you have that has a little bit of dimension, you could use that kids fun, that fun foam. That would be great because that really does mimic foam dots, right? You could use cardboard. I've used that a lot. You know, I found this is really heavy, thick chipboard basically is what this is. So many options of what you can use to help kind of pop up your cards. And there we go. Cute little card. And for today, after every storm, there's a rainbow. I, I you know, I filmed this ahead of time. I couldn't quite grasp to do this too close to the date. But, you know, it, it's, it's looming for me. And so I, you know, I need that. I need that little cheeriness, that little bright and cheeriness. And that's what Lawn Fawn to me is all about, putting a smile on your face as you see that card. All right, the next kit that I got came from a portion of it, I should say, came from this stamp set, which is called the Butterfly Kisses. And if you notice, this little bunny rabbit right here is actually from there. This little guy, though, came from a different stamp set. So they have blended two stamp sets together, which I think is fabulous. I love how they've done that. So again, this was a card that was meant to go on to this little piece right here. There was actually one more element. So originally, it fit on this little square by square card, which I think is super adorable. But I run all my card swaps and all my, and I, just to make life easy, all of our card swaps are the same size. And so that's why I always tell everybody to do an A2 size card. So that's what I make a lot of. And it's really easy to make A2 size cards because you can take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, cut it through, which is what I've done to make the background to both of these cards. So it just, it simplifies. And I'm going back to adding my mats. So here is all the mats. So this particular card, oops, am I out? I am out. Look at that. I mean, I'm running out of all kinds of stuff. Super easy to refill. Let me show you. You pop that out. You get your little refills like this. So you pop it out. And as you can see, you get 40 feet in here. I mean, I don't have to refill these all that often. And that's as hard as it gets to refill that. Super simple. Ta-da! And so handy. And I always know which side is up because it's got that little nubby piece at the top. So makes my life easy. All right. I do not want to have a ton, a ton, a ton of the yellow, but I want that pop of the yellow. And why I pulled the yellow is because in the pieces they gave us for the card, and they gave us this one little piece right here, and it's that same hash dots, right? On the flip side of that, they have the flowers, which you can see right here. So this came from the spring fling as well. So what they originally had done is they had it's centered like this to keep it into that square but I'm trying to morph this to be a little bit longer so I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger in the original card they also stamped right on here and I'm not I'm going to stamp below so I want to do that actually I'm going to do that last because I want to get everything centered and I can come in and stamp right there so I'm going to add my adhesive see that's why that little nub is perfect make sure I don't screw it up and I'm going to drop it down to be right here and they did all the amazing coloring for me. So thank you, Ron Fawn. I did not get this. This is again, a card that if you get this all perfectly centered, then you are set and good to go. Look at that. So go ahead and 
line this up. I'm going to move it up a little bit because we're going to stamp just below. So there we go. And my little bunny rabbits now have a place to sit. So they, and I'm going to copy, they have this being kind of like the meadow of like, here's this, I don't know what paper pad this came from, but it's one of their other ones that they had. And obviously the scalloped die is one of theirs. Okay. All the supplies will be linked down below. Even if I don't personally have them, I will put them up there for you. And I'll find the little set that that one came from. This is basically the sky of the blue. And then down here, it's like they're sitting in a field of flowers, which I think is super cute. So that is where this is coming from. And a little banner that says waving hello, which I think we all need a friend to wave hello at us <laughs> or reach out to somebody. I actually have had a few people reach out to me, message me, call me, um, just to kind of check on how things are going. You know, it's, it's funny. It's not the day of that tends to be the problem as much. It's the week leading up to the big day. We call it our angel day. So little flowers in their hair, which those flowers are not in this kit, but this single flower is. They really have done a blend between two kits. And this is exactly how they had the card at the show, except they put it on a square and they had a different sentiment and I do not have that. So instead, I'm going to say you are in my thoughts because that's kind of where I'm at right now in my life. All right, make sure I can read this and I am just going to do black. Just make it nice and crisp and clean and hopefully I do not screw up this stamp. That's okay. So I'm just going to come in here and put you are in my thoughts. And there it is. I could have pulled out my Misty, but that was just one easy, fast stamp that I really would not have to do that. So thanks so much for stopping by and making a couple of bright and cheery cards. These are cards that you can give to somebody when they're feeling a little blue or, you know, maybe you know somebody who's in a situation who's just going through something and therefore you can pass along something amazing to them. And sometimes that little that little gesture is all they need just to make them smile and make them feel a little bit better and kind of get them out of their glumness and, uh, make them feel a little bit better. And that's kind of the whole point I think of making handmade cards is to make somebody smile and make them feel better by, cause you made something special for them and you can't get any more smiley and cute than lawn fun. So take a look at the couple of cute cards that I made with the inspiration completely from what they have created. I've just modified a little bit, but you can see how simple it is to, you know, stamp, die cut then color color then die cut that out and then i'll find out what that little guy is and then this you cannot but smile when you have a card when all you're going to do is want to play with it over and over and over again i mean that's just so cute i love that and really quite simple uh if you want to check out the videos at lawn fawn about how they die cut it but once you have the die cut pieces which is where we started assembling it is very very simple it looks a heck of a lot more complicated than it really is but it is not it is so super easy and you can't deny that that's such a happy little rainbow. So thanks everybody for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button for further notifications. Links for all the supplies will be down below and hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.